It is unmotivated and average, and it's an exciting day. <laughs> and it's an exciting day. <laughs> because that voice you just heard wasn't Ben, it was Rob, my roommate. Roommate Rob, of all yeah. people. And I'm making him play... Shalom uh, <laughs> in the home, everyone. <laughs> I'm making him play Brothers, A Tale of Two Sons, because you have to control two people, and he never plays video games, and I think that's going to be really funny. I play uh, Minion Rush Good for on my you. phone. <laughs> I play every day. Uh, no, this is easily a- <laughs> this- like every day for sure. I'm, so there's this login thing where like if you pl- you uh, open it up on your phone, yeah. then you get certain prize, and then the more days you log in, it gives you better prizes. I'm at day two thirty right now. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah, I thought I play every day since like like basically since I got my phone. <laughs> I, I have only had my phone like nine months. <laughs> You can imagine. Uh, so this is like a huge like story driven game, but like they don't speak in the cutscenes, so you don't you don't even need to uh oh. so listen. Like one guy just drowned. No, the mother drowned of oh. uh, and he's sad oh. about that. So look I, at him being I, sad. I can feel that. Do you know why? Because your mother drowned? No. Well, no. Alright. Because it's sad. Okay. I was gonna say, I met your mother and I was like, wow, either this happened recently or that girl that I met is just Rob's like older lady friend. Can you skip this? You could if you really wanted to. How? I, I would assume pressing start. Okay. Just give me the debrief. What else happens? She, there's there's the died. ghost. I never beat the game. Oh, you never played I, this? I, no, I played a bit of it. Oh, so tell me what's gonna happen. Plenty. There's a ghost. Yeah, ghost mom. Okay, yeah. Y- you could hit A hit. I pressed it. It didn't day. work, really? No. Wow. Oh, no. Oh, start. Ooh, no. Ooh, no, that didn't work. All right, no. I guess we're watching all the cutscenes. Okay. That's okay. If they're boring, then I'll just edit them out. The magic of editing. No, but like... Okay, so then there's older brother. Who's the... Is that the guy on the cart? Nope. Surprisingly, older brother was the guy putting him on the cart. The other guy is the dad. Okay. Do you know what this reminds me of, this town? It reminds me of Emperor's New Groove. Yeah? Where Poncho lives. Poncho? So, just this this small scene already reminds you of Emperor's New Groove. Yeah, because, well, Poncho lives on the hill. Poncho's the dude who's played by, um, I don't remember his real name, but he plays Putty on Seinfeld. He's got the super deep voice. Yeah. Yeah. No, is that Kronk? Oh, no, I'm thinking of Kronk. Who's That's Poncho? Kronk. Is he the emperor? No, pon- Poncho's like the, the town man. The town, town man. The guy, he lives, that's, he lives in a house where, uh, Cusco wants to put his new water park. <laughs> do not remember this at all so yeah one trigger for that brother one trigger for that brother and then you walk them with each joystick Ugh. yeah i know right? i don't know which one is which well the little brother okay. is one side and the big brother is the other side so then you just have to remember like which side is which originally i was going to have us each control one half of it but uh i think this will work fine <laughs> Anyways, the reason I'm so excited to have you on here is because you have so many stories that, taken slightly out of context, make you seem like the worst person ever. And I don't know which one to start with. <laughs> I'm actually a pretty good person. <laughs> no, you're not. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay, audience, let's... You decide by yourself. I'm going to tell you three things, and then Rob's going to try to justify them to you. <laughs> okay, so Rob is dating a girl, uh... No, her name's not important. Rob's dating a lady, of all people. And he has, in the, um, within the first year that they were dating, left her in the rain to catch a bus because she wasn't walking fast enough, gave her a concussion by pushing her off a bar stool, (laughs) and, oh, damn, what was the third thing? I feel like he did something else terrible as well. I I probably have, not gonna lie to you. Uh, no, I can't remember. But those two things alone in separate occasions, you did give your girlfriend a concussion and leave her in the rain. Not the same night, though. Care to uh, elaborate on how those two things happen? Okay, well, you're, you're taking it out of context. <laughs> I think I'm taking it in context. Uh, well, first off, is this an elevator? Uh, no, it's like a... It's not an elevator. It's Just leave the dude on the cart there. Oh, man, this is going to be a puzzle-solving game. You're going to be so bad at it. Cause okay, so basically... The rain thing, okay, it was Zach's birthday. Me. And <laughs> the bus was there. You got it, it was and raining. go at the same time. That's hard, that's hard. Okay, that's, <laughs> so it's raining. I don't know where to go. Do I jump there? <laughs> uh, no. You gotta get up on that cliff. 
So you can like I... boost one of them up with the with the ladder. <laughs> there you go. You figured oh, out your first puzzle. Okay. Anyway, so it's raining. Yep. Who wants to be in the rain? Nobody. No one. Nobody. Probably not your girlfriend either. No. I would assume. Oh, okay, no, no. So you can't turn that by yourself. So you got to get the other guy down too, or up there. You got. Okay. Get anyway, so too. I see the bus. So I. Do you want me just to play the game? It's obviously too much of a. Oh, this is yeah. You, you. you can do this. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so the, I see the bus, <laughs> and I, I say, "Everyone, run for the bus." Mm-hmm. Right. Who's everyone? You? Uh, Ben or Dave. So Dave. I said. What? Dave. Yeah. They know Ben. So Everyone knows Ben. Yeah, so uh, we ran to the bus, and no one else ran with us, so she was stuck in the rain. And then, uh, Put yeah. Put your fucking hands on here, you I, uh, dopey bastard. I left her in the rain. But, okay, fine. That one is my bad. I'll, I'll take yeah. I'll take blame for that one. The concussion one, <laughs> not my bad. Okay, picture this. You're going to play. I'm picturing you're it. You're at a party, right? Yep. Uh, let's say 25 okay. people, 25, yeah. 30 people. Doesn't sound like me. All okay. Right. <laughs> 25 people. Do I know them? <laughs> I've, I've known them for like four months. Yeah. Okay. Also, she wasn't my girlfriend at this point. No. Actually, you don't know this part of the story. A little backtrack. Is this when you gave her a concussion? Yes. You weren't dating at that time? No. She agreed to date you after you gave her a concussion. Yeah, I know, right? Jesus Christ. So who's what in the wrong game here? Do you who's have? Who's that? <laughs> <laughs> um, so she kicked... You know when you kick the person's back ankle in? Well, I was drunk. No. <laughs> Anyway, kick someone in the back no, of the no, ankle. No, like you kick their foot, and they're like, no, I don't, like, like a, like a trip kick, or yeah, like you yeah. just kick them in the ankle. No, like a trip. Okay, kick. so you trip. Anyway, so I fell my butt, and it was right embarrassing. I've only known these people for like four months. These are my colleagues. So you got embarrassed. So you, I got you embarrassed. No, no, smashed so, her in the face. So I went to the bathroom. I with got a back. Friggin' bottle. No, no, and concussed the bitch. That's not what happened. That sounds like that's what happened. I, I was sitting down on the bar stool with her later in the night. Yep. I'm like, ooh, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get her back. You, so I so shoved her preemptive. off. I shoved her off the stool, mm -hmm. and you then you did like a little, like yeah, butt I did a butt motion. shove. Yeah, butt shove. And she mm -hmm. hit her, her. head. How dare she? Off the uh, cab, like um, you know, what drawers have they have the handles. Yep. Her head hit off of one of those. A handle. Yes. Her head off, hit off a handle. Her head hit a handle. Okay, and now yes. You may say that's my fault. It's almost entirely your fault. But some would say she wasn't diagnosed as having a concussion. But she had one. Mm, undiagnosed. So yeah, she was concussed. And I stayed with her all night. Because you concussed her, though, right? No, actually, like that night, I thought she just drank too much. Oh. So like we were just walking outside everywhere, and then um. Little did you know you concussed her. Little did I know. She uh, hit her head on a door, a drawer handle. I think you're just a bad person, like all together. I don't think so. You you can cuss your man. You gotta think of another. There's another story that I oh, you always rip brother. on me. Uh, yeah. About. I know. I'm trying to think of that other step story. It is all well. There's. I mean, I don't know if you want to tell it, but there's the New Year's story, which is my personal favorite. Which, which one? The one. What did? Okay, so oh, two New Years ago, how did you show up to my party? <laughs> what are the first words? It's just. It's just me. Two years ago. Yeah, two years ago, you show up to. Was I drunk? No, you show up to New Year's completely sober, and uh, it's just uh, me and Ben. Story. It's just me and Ben, and then you show up. Is this the purple bitch party? Yeah, it okay. is. It's just me and Ben there, and then you show up with Steph, and then the, you just oh, you walk, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You just walk in the room and you're just like, "Hey guys, guess what? I'm bad at sex." And we all just like look at you. Just me and Ben, we just look at you. We're like, "Um, what?" And he's like, "Yeah, Steph told me I was bad at sex." And then we look at Steph, and Steph's like, "Yeah, he is." <laughs> okay, like, I'm not. Bad why at, are you sharing this information? I'm not bad at sex. I don't know. It's not I just had a step step. I just had a quicker quickie <laughs> than usual. <laughs> and it had been a, an entire fourteen okay. days. Okay. And in my defense, Ben had a faster quickie than I did. Yeah. Have well, you told well, us? Let, did he tell a story? No, he hasn't. I'll okay. let him tell. Yeah, it if he, he can, wants he to. He could tell a story. I'll say we've teased it in a previous one. Yeah. yeah. 
But uh, but yeah, and not only not only did you tell us that, but you went on to tell every single person in the party, <laughs> including including your mom and sister. Uh, I'm possibly. Sure. I'm sure. No, probably not. I don't think. So. Oh, I have I have some other stories I can share. Okay. Oh, I love stories. Okay, so I don't know if I told you this one. I feel like I have because it's like one of my. It's gonna be sad. It's one of my proudest accomplishments. Wake up, you fuck. So, I'm I went to a party right and um. I had this party it's with a group of people and they put face paint on you, mm-hmm. right? So I had red face paint on me and like, I, like all the guys took their shirt off. But everyone had like paint all over their bodies. Like when I woke up the next day, I was like, what the hell just happened? So you were red. Yeah. yeah. So I got really drunk, puked at the party, got to walk home from my friend. And then um, he didn't want to stay at my house, obviously, because like my roommates were home. It was a Wednesday. Not me. Not me. No, we were no, living no, with not, good, not, old, good, not old good old me. Zach. Anyway, so I I'm walk in. And the guy that walked home was like, "Hey guys, Rob needs help." So like, they see me like run into my bedroom because I have a bathroom in my bedroom, or I used to, and right, like the all they saw was red all over my body. <laughs> and they thought I got jumped. <laughs> so initially they're like, oh, "Holy shit, did Rob get jumped?" <laughs> anyway, so they see me puking in my toilet, and then I went to sit on my bathroom and, or oh, sorry, I went to sit on my bed, and uh, I was getting the spins a little bit. Yeah, I got up. The bed spins. Because I had to go puke. Mm-hmm. I got to the door of the bathroom. Yeah. This is this is uh, what my friends told me because I don't remember. But I got to the door of the bathroom and puked. But I projectile vomited <laughs> into the <laughs> toilet. <laughs> I remember you talking about this. Into the toilet. How amazing is you that? You projectile vomited while walking towards the toilet. Yes. And got it all in. Yes. Yeah. There's a little bit of splash radius. But, you know, other than like... Yeah. You did pretty well. Oh. Yeah, that's pretty good, right? Uh, yeah, I'm proud of you. Is that is that your, your best accomplishment, you said? Mm. It's up there. It's up there for sure. Mm-hmm. Now, in saying that, uh, you are in school for pharmacy right now. Yeah. That, not at the top of the list. Puking, projectile, vomiting into a toilet. Top. Right up there. Um... Yeah, the top three. They're both top three. <laughs> <laughs> They're both top three, I would say. What's, what's the other one in the top three? I don't know. I don't know, actually. Don't eat me, you dog. Ooh. Stupid. I feel like we just keep talking dog. about me. We're not even talking about the game. Huh? Uh, that doesn't matter. Oh, no. Get back up there. Hey, hey little. <laughs> Big brother's calling little brother over. No, I'm calling the dog over. Oh. Let's see, we're being tricky. Why don't you just shoot the dog? Well, mm, I don't have a gun. Old yelling, one. right? I know, right? It's a movie. So I keep moving both joysticks at the same time, so I'll just move one child and then the other one, and then he'll jump off the thing, and I'll be like, oh no. Yeah, there's no way I could tell a story and play this game, because that's like three things. Cause I, oh yeah, I guess so. It's like three things. How do you figure? But I, I see what you're saying with the three things. You can move the camera, eh? No. You can, look. Stop it! <laughs> <laughs> you No, get up there, you... Oh man, that dog almost ripped you my. You could do that. Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh my god. Oh no. And nailed it. They, wanna, I'm gonna leave that stuff in. Oh no! <laughs> I simultaneously released triggers and killed. Oh my god. At least neither of them has to live without the other one. Yeah. Anyway, so I just want to share the story. This is before I even knew Zach, actually. Way before. Yeah, it's like grade ten. So. First time I really hung out with my group of friends, mine is Zach, um, at my house. I'm like, hey mom, I'm having my friends over, blah, blah, blah. She's like, oh, I'll order you guys a pizza. Uh, I believe she tussled your hair Right. I said that. And she, uh, oh, obviously. Yep. So she ordered us a pizza with pepperoni, mushrooms, and green peppers. Pretty, I think, pretty standard pizza top. I would disagree with that entirely, but really? do continue. Pepperoni, th- mushrooms, and green peppers. What do you think? Standard? No, not really a standard pizza. No, pizza toppings. Like all three of those are pretty standard. I guess so, but like I mean, a standard pizza to me is either cheese or pepperoni. Nah, not cheese. That's like the most standard pizza. Okay, like you're regardless. describing like a deluxe minus a few ingredients. No, it is a deluxe. No, a deluxe has like onions on it, doesn't it? Okay. And olives. It definitely has no, olives it doesn't on have it. Olives. Yeah, it has black olives on it. No one cares what you're. Okay, so my mom gets a pizza. pizza with mushrooms, pepperoni, and green peppers. Yep. For me, which is Doesn't she home make it? No, no, she bought it. Oh. She homemade a giant cookie, though. Yes. But anyway, 
I, the second I started hanging out with you guys, all that shit went away. Yeah, I know, right? Because we didn't hang out at my stuff. house anymore. Anyway, so my friends start coming over. So my friends come in and they're all like, oh, thanks, Rob's mom. Thanks for the pizza, blah, blah, blah. Dave, I love you. I, I secretly harbor crushes on you. Dave walks in <laughs> and he looks at the pizza and sighs and he's like, huh, I don't even like green pepper. And he doesn't say thank you, nothing. <laughs> oh, Didn't man. eat the pizza. Just complained about the... it. No, I don't think so. <laughs> He'll say he did. I don't think he did, though. Oh, Christ. Yeah. Dave's another person I want on this uh, little thing that we have going on. If we had all four of us, that'd be pretty funny. I would. Be I would want another mic for that. Yeah. But yeah. Oh man, that's one of my favorite Dave stories. Yeah. So brought to you by Dave. Brought to you by Dave. Dave. He also talks in oh, yeah, yeah. a vaguely nasally voice yeah. that we have over the years turned into a extremely nasally voice. No, no, no. Boop. Oh, no, no, no. No, no, no. <laughs> I always believe that The Legend of Zelda should be called The Adventures of Link. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Are you saying that ironically? No, I think it should be. For real? Like, that, you think if they named it The Adventures of Link, that would be a better title? Yes. Yes. And you're saying that not knowing that there is a video game called The Adventures of Link. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, the very first one was called The Adventures of Link. <laughs> Why do they change? Because <laughs> it became The Legends of Zelda after that. It wasn't It wasn't about that, that asshole Link. It was about the Zelda character and her adventures that happened to be completely only about Link. Yeah, that was great. <laughs> oh. yeah, I do. All, I do all the video games. As yeah, you can tell. he does. Um, I think the uh, the audience member appreciates that I have a wide variety of people who don't play video games. Like who? Ben. <laughs> ben video games more than I do, though. He does now. <laughs> no, even before he did. did like he? he played Portal. Portal's a great game. I never did. Uh, didn't your brother try to make you play Portal once? No, he played it when I was in the room. Pick on the thing, you stupid fuck. Yeah, I'll do it. All right, I mean, good luck. Here, am I the man? Oh, no, I thought we were going to share. There you go. Am I the man? <laughs> <laughs> what a great question. Did I ever tell you that I used to... Oh, have... I'm doing it. Wow, look at me, <laughs> eh? I'm surprised. You're nailing it. Now, don't close it on him by accident like I almost did. All right, you ready? Now, nick the key. With the trigger. You got that. Now, it's your key now. That's yours. Maybe I'll step on stuff. Oh, you dropped the fucking key. I'll have to hold it? Well, no. Just leave it there and then magically... Come on, Rob. Well, how do I get it now? What do you... Pick it up and you dropped it again. Oh, I got it now. <laughs> I got it. God, it's like dealing with a child. I used to work at a cookie factory. A cookie factory. Like the worker. I mean, yeah. he doesn't have a... Oh, you gotta tell some of those stories. Oh, oh yeah, I forgot about true. these people. Here, you play now. They're geniuses. <laughs> they, these are the smartest people I know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I hope they don't listen to this. They're gonna hate me. <laughs> I don't even know if they. I think of all the people that would listen to this, it's not them. <laughs> what, if, what if we got big? If I got huge, even then. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> this guy. So I'm, I'm, I'm talking this. I'm he's talking cool. this guy at the factory, and he's all like. Hey, uh, I don't know, what were we talking, oh yeah, I was saying, I'm going back to school in a few months, blah, 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 like, all that stuff, he's like, oh, that's good, good job, like, I don't, I don't want to stay uh, here forever either, like, I'm going to go out and make a lot of money sometime, I'm good like, bro, oh. I'm like, yeah, that's cool, like, what do you, uh, what do you it's think you're doing? never too late to go back to school. And he said, I, I'm going to be an entrepreneur. Okay. Right? Yeah, solid. I'm like, all right, like. Well, what's your idea? Because you need an idea to be an entrepreneur. Oh, he's like, I, he's like, I have an idea. I'm like, all right, what is it? He's like, I'm not going to tell you because you're going to steal it. Well, <laughs> so I was like, it's pretty good to be fair. Uh, just tell me I'm not going to steal. He's like, no, I'm going to steal it. He's like, all right, I'll tell you. It's too easy to even, uh, like people have been overthinking this concept for way too long. Yep. He's like, it's a new energy source. I remember when he said that, I knew. 
Uh, you knew. You knew it was going to be gold. You knew you had to steal this idea yeah. that you've been. I knew... Uh, I just want to see the ogre fall and I'll continue. There you <laughs> go. <laughs> so I knew this... I was like, oh my god, here we go. So his new energy source is water. Water. Like Seems people like overthink it, source. right? Yeah. I'm like... A lot of energy in water. So he was trying to explain that... He's like, you know, back in the day, water was the energy source we use like uh like steam engines and stuff yep so basically what he wanted is to get water heat it up make steam and use that steam to power yep right like a steam engine mm -hmm. exactly so i told him that wouldn't work did you tell him that exists though no he, he used to work in a steam engine in a steam engine no did you or tell steam, him uh, that plant it, or something that's nuclear power uh, i i I tried explaining a lot of stuff. <laughs> I tried. Like, that is what nuclear power is. For those of you who don't know, nuclear power is you have a bunch of water, you take a uranium bar, heat, heat it. it up, throw it in the water. Uranium bars keep heat really well and get super hot, so they produce a lot of steam. <laughs> anyway, so uh, I tried telling him, like, I'm like, well, one, I said that already exists. But he we heat, surpassed that as well, well. Yeah. What? That was another point because, like, <laughs> yes, that does that is an option, but that's like saying um, solar power is my. Uh, power you know, I'm gonna make this thing has four wheels, doesn't take any gas. You just run with your feet. <laughs> yeah. Just Flintstones. Eh? Yeah. No. Anyway, so I tried telling him like I I, I tried explaining to him how his idea was flawed, so I didn't really want to just tell him flat out. So I, break all the eventually I did I was like no you're wrong mm -hmm. so his idea was to heat up the water not nuclear way but heat it up I'm like well how would you heat it up he's like what do you mean you boil it and make steam and use the steam to create pressure yep. I'm like alright how do you heat the water up he's like you don't understand you heat it up I'm like <laughs> but how Like I said what energy do you use to heat it up do you know what he said to me fossil fuels oil <laughs> I, I knew i knew he was gonna use is he not me so he's not my friend yes yeah, so, so i was just i was flabbergasted i was just like oh like really yeah right so yeah that was one thing so the same oh, guy look at all the wolves let's go stop what oh no so the same guy another time yeah he uh See your best What's friend? Ah, oh, you idiot. Uh, would you say that he was your best friend at the cookie factory? Unfortunately, he's up there. <laughs> <laughs> Stay no. away, Mister. I don't. I don't understand, Rob. Um. Maybe I can. Swallow. Oh yeah, the same thing. So we're sitting at lunch, uh -huh. and we're uh, we're just chatting. I was actually not in the conversation. I was at one table, and beside me was this person, and then. Who yeah. else was there? There's a guy who was a vegetarian. Okay. So, Not and, there, and there's another no. guy. I hear that that's a saying people do. So the the energy plant man. Yeah. He's trying to say... Let's call him Enron. Enron, okay. Uh, he's trying to tell... Uh, Vejo? Sure, Vejo. So Enron's trying to tell Vejo that being a vegetarian is dumb. And... Uh, Good choice. Do you know, teach his own. I don't care. I, yeah, I love me. Eat whatever you want. I know somebody who actually, uh, what they're an environmental eater, so they only eat foods when they're in season in the country that you live in. Hmm. So that uh, the so food... you could always eat like homegrown stuff. Yeah, the, the idea is to eat more homegrown stuff, so that it's not like uh, flying shit all over the place and and using up all that energy and stuff like that. Which is you know noble cause, noble cause. Anyway, so he's trying to tell him. So, this guy was actually not a vegetarian. He was a, um, he ate fish. He ate so he's fish. Not, he's not a true vegetarian. No. But Although he, most people eat fish when they're veg, or a lot of vegetarians eat, eat fish, fish and chicken. Which I don't either. get. It's like why chicken? No. Even chicken, yeah. Even nah, if you eat fish, if you eat fish, you're considered a pescatarian. A pescatarian. Yes. A pescapillion. Anyway, so he's he's trying to explain that like he doesn't eat stuff. Yeah. That walks on land like walks on his land and bleeds blood kind of thing okay like that that's just his like he doesn't want to eat something that's like 
Because he's saying it's too close to being human. Like well, fuck fish, right? Those guys. Yeah, are exactly. <laughs> no, but whatever. You can you can make your own choices. Yeah, I, I guess it just I, I never it always seems strange to me to be like I'll eat everything except this. Except yeah. This. Oh, sorry, anyway, I'll, I'll eat uh, nothing. So except this. so first, uh, Enron is trying to be like, well, you won't eat things that are living. So like, why do you eat plants? Plants are living. <laughs> he's like, yeah, but they don't bleed. He's like, yeah, they do. I mean, when you cut into it, the juice comes out. That's the the blood the bleeding. Plant blood. I was I was like, hmm, no. <laughs> plants don't have blood. They have sap. It's like blood. they do, but plants it's not. Blood. It's not blood. Run from the wolf. Anyway, so the next thing he tried going, he's a big water guy. This one, big water arm. guy. He likes water. So next thing he said was, uh, "How about water? You drink water, don't you?" Oh no. <laughs> and he's like, yeah. And then he's like, well, water's living. Is it though? And then I kind of turned to him. Because by this point, I had enough of this conversation. <laughs> I, I could have shut it down a long time ago using that science. Thing. No, you think that, but you're wrong in every instance. You, yeah, you could them, not. <laughs> yeah. You, you cannot logic your way out of something like that. Anyway, so I go to him, I'm like, does, does water reproduce? Does water grow? So going through all the like the aspects, the classic that, life things, like that you need to have life, right? Most things that have life need water. Yeah, <laughs> right. <laughs> and he's saying so. His argument about how uh, why water's alive is because lakes dry up, mm. and when a lake dries up, that's the water dying. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's one of the stupidest things I've ever yeah, heard. Yeah, the water's dead. So, oh my uh, god! Like him subscribe and maybe Rob will do sexual things to you. Hmm? I'll also be back eventually. Maybe yeah. We'll play Alien Isolation. I'll make fun of Zach a lot. Oh. Maybe next time fun. I'll try to be funnier, mm. like Ben. Shh. No, that shh. those aspirations are way <laughs> too high. Like, way too high. Like, uh, like Rob, I'll try to be funny like Rob. Funny like a Rob. Yeah. Uh, goodbye, world. This has been unmotivated and average. Nice. Rob talks. I don't know. What do you want? <laughs> that one. Uh, and deuces. Oh, uh, deuces. See, it's fun, right?